there won't be very much to add for this topic of unforeseen consequences, uh, just because I'm just finishing up the topic from previously. Ultimately, our biggest takeaway is that we're going to be using the risk analysis that we've conducted in previous cases. And what is the risk analysis part that we do? Well, we're going to look at whether or not there was any negligence. Why are we holding these, this person negligent? We're going to see to ask the end to that question we're going to ask what are the risks that we're trying to avoid in the case of a fire we're trying to avoid well in the case of a gasoline spill we're trying to avoid a fire or in the case of well now i can only think of oil related things oil spill we're trying to avoid a fire and in this case yun versus ford motor co we have a spare tire assembly that fell off the bottom of the car and we're trying to figure out whether or not it was negligent to not repair the spare tire assembly knowing what the potential consequences were going to be. So why was it negligent to not repair the spare tire assembly? Well it could fall off, parts could go all over the road and a person may and go out and try and retrieve those parts. Is that foreseeable? And the answer to that question is probably so, probably not. Don't know, that's gonna be a jury's decision. The majority in this case, in the appellate court said that it was entirely extraordinary. And if it's extraordinary, then it's not gonna be able to go to a jury. But if it could be foreseeable, if the consequence could be foreseeable, then yes, it can go to a jury. That was the majority opinion in, in the, in, in this case, Young versus Ford Motor Co. What happened here is that the dissent said that no, this could be a foreseeable thing. It makes sense that somebody would get out of their car to retrieve the parts that have fallen off at the bottom of the thing. And so we're trying to avoid any injuries that could arise from the retrieval of that. That could be something that might be foreseeable. In that case, it should be a jury question. And that's actually what on appeal was decided, is that this should be something that a jury could determine. Is this foreseeable? And if so, then a jury will determine whether or not it is foreseeable and who has the liability in this in the actions and this is going to ease into intervening causes which i will talk about in just a moment thank you for listening to this episode of the law schoolers before i let you go there are four things i want to say the first thing is if you enjoyed these episodes and if you enjoyed the website i would invite you to go and join law schoolers pro and you can do that by going to lawschoolers.com slash join It's a way for you to support us, but there's also a lot of features there that I think you will enjoy. Second thing is that nearly all of our episodes are unedited. The only ones that aren't are pre-law materials, and the reason for that is so you can actually see the legal material in its raw form as I'm learning it as well. The third thing is that the information contained in these episodes are specifically only for educational purposes. They're not to be used as legal advice. And with that, the fourth thing is, if it is used as legal advice, we are not liable. That is, law schoolers is not liable for any legal outcomes. Thank you again for enjoying the show. Have a good one.